renovation of this 1950s home includes an extensive outdoor living area at the front. How did you create that new space? The block really lent itself to creating the space at the front of the home. Uh, the clients were after a, a very resort um, style of home. They'd purchased this 1950s property, but in a, an amazing location. And it was set quite back, which really lent itself to be sort of created at the front, taking advantage of the views and you know the majority of the yard. So we went about um, using the same form that the home has already got, which was these gables. And um, we just brought that forward. And so the structure was very much sort of steel and timber and brickwork and concrete. This has produced a large sheltered outdoor area. How is that space divided up? The clients were after a, a, a loungy space that could kick back on some uh, outdoor sofas, as well as a dining area, um, you know, with a bit of barbecue space and so forth. So, by using those gables, we created those two um, sort of vaulted ceilings, um, and it really helps delineate those two zones out the front. That's quite an interesting way that you've dealt with the barbecue. Yeah, it was interesting. The kitchen is so close um, to that space just basically through that doorway um, and it is at the front of the home and the clients were not keen on having a, um, a full outdoor kitchen and so we came up with the concept of just cantilevering out um, this stone from one of those front piers um, and we just laid the barbecue in there and that way when they want a barbecue they can stand there they're looking across the river into the city uh, or alternatively, they can just use it as an entertaining space and uh, stand around and have some drinks um, and use it more like a bar if you like. So um, it has a, a bit of a dual use.